All right, so the plan today is I'm going to go for a little run. It's been a while and I'm going to cover my thoughts on running as a form of training for climbing and also cold showers and how those can benefit your climbing as well and just your overall life. Um, so a little update on what I've been up to. I've been training sport climbing the last month and a half or so, um, which was for sport climbing nationals, which happened this last weekend. Um, I was pretty happy with my results. I ended up in seventh place, made it to finals, which is always a bonus. And unfortunately, I just messed up the beta on the finals route, but I was, I was pumped too. But yeah, the gym, the gym was pretty small, so it didn't really test my fitness, which is a bummer, because this is the, the fittest I've felt for a Nationals. It's so closely spaced to bouldering that I usually feel like I don't have enough time to get fit. But I think maybe my my training plan this year was a little better for the like six weeks I had. But yeah, unfortunately the walls were very small and they were more bouldery, tricky bouldery routes. But that's just that's how it goes sometimes. And yeah, I'm about to start my run. So I'm in the middle of my run right now. I just turned around, I've ran about a mile and a half. Feeling very out of shape. I know a lot of people talk about whether running is good or bad for climbing. I don't do it much, I like, my sight comes and goes for in waves. I've found that I should only do it when I'm motivated because I really don't like it if I'm not, if I'm not excited to do it. <laughs> But yeah, so what I think about running is it's definitely not needed for climbing. I, I haven't done it for most of my climbing career. But if you are climbing on longer, steeper routes and you're finding yourself out of breath, it's like tired, not really pumped, but just tired. And that's when I think running would most likely benefit and help with your climbing doesn't necessarily help you get less pumped. It could, I'm not sure, but what I do think is it, it helps you stay more relaxed, which then enables you to be able to think on the wall and execute your beta better. And so getting to the bottom line, run, if you like to run or if you have any motivation to run and improve your, your basic cardiovascular strength and I, I think it will help your climbing um it's really up to you i don't think it hurts your climbing as long as you're not I assume as long as you're not running so much that it's taking away from your your ability to climb like if it's if it's fatiguing you like i never i never run more than a couple days a week and i typically do it on a rest day or, or if it's like on a day I, I climb, it's a lighter run. I don't. Ru I never run that far. Usually, two to five miles. And I think it's a good rest day activity. It just gets the the blood flowing around your body, help with that recovery. And it just feels good. That's that's one of my favorite things. That you feel so good after running. Been doing ice showers for I think like a year, maybe a little more now. I learned it from Arno Ilgner, the author of Rock Warrior's Way. He has some great insight onto why you should do it. And then I've also been drawn into the teachings of Wim Hof. She's like known as the Iceman, done a bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah, I just turned the water straight to cold get in the shower first thing in the morning and it's so much more refreshing than a hot shower like when I take a, a hot shower I don't want to get out I'm all like relaxed it just doesn't feel like the optimal way to start my day but when I take an ice shower I feel like energized and like invigorated the mindset 
that is best for the, the ice shower is to not be reactive. So instead of like, think all right, all right, this is gonna suck and the water hits and you're all tense up and shiver up. The goal is to try and be very present, try and relax. If possible, don't react to the water. But then at the same time, just observe like, it is gonna be cold, but instead of telling yourself like, this is cold, this hurts, like it sucks, just observe what your body is doing. Like how does it react to the cold water? And is it possible to stay relaxed and not tense up your body? And you should notice, it may take a couple times, but shortly after doing it for a few days, it gets a lot easier. Still like, it's a little bit challenging, but it's only the initial, like right when you get in is the hardest part. And then your, your body adapts to the cold pretty quick. I learned through Wim Hof that it strengthens your your cardiovascular system like all these little tiny muscles around your veins get stronger from contracting when the cold water hits so your body just gets more efficient and better at dealing with the cold that way it only takes like maybe 20 seconds or less when you first get in the cold water and even when you get more and more experience like when you just think about getting in the cold water, your body already starts to prepare. So it's even that much shorter of a time that you're gonna have to, to suffer with the cold. I think where it translates into climbing the cold showers is it's teaching you how to create a gap in between the, the reaction and the feeling. So you feel the cold and instead of immediately reacting, you learn how to relax and you have a, a little space in there to think and you have a decision to make rather than just fully living off of your natural responses. And I think you can relate that to route climbing especially, like when you get into a hard sequence, you're really pumped and tired and it's, it's easy and you naturally just want to like, when you're at that point where you're about to fall, it's tempting to like over grip, grab it, everything as hard as you can because like you know you have to use everything you have but in the end that's actually worse because you're you're wasting a lot more energy you're not climbing that efficient when you're grabbing stuff that hard and it maybe cuts you short like five to ten moves you never depends on the route but I've noticed that like getting better at staying relaxed in the stressful situations now when I get up to a hard crux sequence, I'm really pumped. I'm able to like stay calm and only use as, as much energy as needed. I don't, when I start to get that pumped or I think I might fall, I don't just like go as hard as I can. I just climb it like I would if I was fresh. And I think teach, you have to teach yourself how to to be like mindful in these stressful situations. It's not natural and it's, it just takes a little bit of practice. But once you can teach yourself to stay relaxed, it will just open up your potential. Like you can, a lot of times all it takes is like a couple more moves. So I've heard it called like, like redlining. Like some climbers are really good at climbing at their, you get to that point where you're maxing out, you're pumped, you're tired, but you just keep going. Where a lot of people, as soon as they hit that point, they fall right after, and I think it's usually because they get so tense, they use all their energy, like two moves, when it really doesn't take as much. Oh so yeah, I think I think cold showers are amazing, and I, I suggest everyone try it out. Even to start, like getting a warm shower, and at the very end, just try and turn it cold right before you get out. And just, yeah, make the focus on staying relaxed and not reacting with a fight or flight response but just being mindful and present of what what your body is is feeling it's so nice out here i love the view up in these mountains see see the city nice so pretty all right time to get psyched back ready for the running
now I get to go downhill finally. And at last, here's my my distance and time. As you can see, I went very slow. In my defense, the, the start of the run is very steep uphill for about the first mile. Then it flattens out for about a mile, which I was talking most of that time. And I, I got pretty quick on the, the last bit, relatively. Eight minute mile, but that's because it was all downhill. So yeah, I'm probably about a 5'9 runner, but I'm trying to work my way up. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe below if you want to see any more videos, and I'd love to hear your comments if you have any questions or opinions on running and cold showers.